Budget three three five lineups. How budget are we going? Slot blitzer. Okay. So let's just talk about all the important positions. Yeah. In rating, so that people can then go to Mudhead and find themselves. But we'll talk about a lot about it too. Sure. So a slot blitzer. Mm -hmm. Pursuit. At the important rating, what's the important rating? Because you're really just blitzing, right? You want hit power? Like, I, I would tell you, focus on two of one things, of the way I would build mm -hmm. it, is give me someone that has a ton of speed, yep. or give me someone that has a ton of hit power. It, it, should, be, it should be one or the other, especially if you're looking Super for budget. Super speed or super hit power in right. cheap. So let, let's just quickly look and you, here. You, you're cool with putting safety there. Yeah. You're cool with putting, you know, certain guys there. Yeah, like, I, you know, a guy that I find I'll probably a tremendous amount of value? Mutt Hero uh, Camp Chancellor, the 95 hit power version. Right, so let's just go with speed here real quick. Let me look at, like... So one guy you could do is Jason McCourty. He's new. He's got 91 speed. This Vernon Hargraves, to me, has very high pursuit. He's got 86 speed. Uh, he could be an option that you so, throw down in there for cheap. So there's a Jason McCourty. Okay, yeah. I understand 23K, that's a lot, but he's... He'll come down, he just came He'll out. come down, and that's the 91 speed, one of the fastest guys in the game. That's a great option there. Okay. Okay, so 23K, just keep that in okay, mind. Okay, so he's your slot blitzer. Yep. So, and then... Real quick, let me, okay. let's look at the, the camp. I mean, let's just see, what, we'll do 90 hit power, see what guys are come up. So the cam right now is 38K. I think that that cam is worth it. Okay. I think 95 hit power is 85 such a... 85 cam chancellor, mud hero. I think that the, that 95 hit power for that role, that defender is going to be putting hits on the quarterback, and he's going to be putting hits on the ball on, your, mm -hmm. on the halfback a large percentage of the time. But I think you have to try it out and see how it works for the defense. And you don't have to worry about chancellor playing coverage, he's, he's going to be blitzing a majority of the time, or if you're cover four, he'll be playing zone. He's got 81 zone, which is very good. Okay, cornerbacks, I've got speed and zone coverage. You're not gonna be able to get to 91 zone coverage on a budget, so let's just say that. So okay. you're not gonna be, I, I got the categories up here if you sure. want to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Byron Maxwell, to me, for 30K, he's got a core elite, but he also has his flashback is 74. He's like the best option if you really have like one place to spend and you want Okay, he's at 90. Mm -hmm. I know some people like him. Also, the uh, 85 version of Terrence Newman has big time zone. Slower. Yeah. I but mean, but he, he could be an option. But, but, I mean, is that what you want at corner if you're building a budget team? My question is, if you're building a budget team at corner, do you want just guys that have hip power? Like, do you want to play Eric Reed down there and just have him pop in the flat? So, there's, you know, like, there's two defender, there's two guys okay. to, to target. Um, specifically because of you're going to play a lot of Tampa 2. Mm -hmm. You want team, they're team leaders. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to butcher his first name. Canoe, Canoe Neal. Can, can, Keanu, Keanu. Keanu Neal. Guy's never leader. seen Point Break. That's not your Ke Keanu Reeves. Keanu Neal, team leader. It's the same name you just said, but you can't say it. And Eric Reed, team leader. Okay. Right. Pull those bad boys up if you can. Okay. Uh, so uh, type in Reed. I got Eric Reed here, I think. These are the goons. That you put and have them play on the outside corner in a in a more obviously the team leader is so harder to acquire. But if you're out there grinding in the streets, right? So so Eric Reed and uh, Keanu Neal. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going to the next one. They'll, well, they'll get it. We'll get it. They'll get it. Uh, Eric Reed, Keanu Neal. Next up is safeties. I've got guys like potentially this 86 Harrison and potentially Adrian Amos. Like you're not gonna be able to get 91 zone, right? So what do you get instead? Terrence Newman, but you get speed and pretty good zone. Like, because at least then you don't have the zone, so you're not breaking on balls. But at least you're fast enough. I mean, Harrison Webb and Amos I, to potentially I, have some players, or do you, do you I think completely you gotta, change the way you play? I think you got to look for Terrence Newman. I think 89 zone coverage is still going to play very well. Yeah. I think you maybe give it a shot. You give that Terrence Newman a shot. Um, the 80 Terrence Newman, if you're on a budget, he's 12k, so that's still a good amount. But um, I like that Newman. I think if you if you made a, a goat, a Deion Sanders, good speed. He's got eighty five zone. He's got good man. Yeah. They can play well back there. Champ Bailey, um, if you've done like the grind to get him through solos, but not necessarily there's, go get him now. But like if you've already done it, there's also play. the core elite Newman, the other eighty five vert, like the eighty five, uh, Terrence Newman with ninety four zone coverage is banana sauce. Yeah, I mean he'll be he's one of your guys. So this is Tampa three three five budget squad. We're gonna keep flying through here. So this is a 
your your rushers, your edge guys. Do you yep. want players that have ninety power move? Do you want like a guy that so like the all these eighty dudes, Clowney, Vernon, um, Arakpo, like well, Clowney and Vernon, they both have ninety moves. You got James Harrison, who could potentially be cheap beef on your squad. Like, what do you want at the edge outside linebacker position? We just covered the secondary and your slot blitzer. What do you want from your? Yeah, you, you know, you're not going to be in this defense. There's not a lot of dropping defensive linemen into coverage. Right. So you want guys that are going to be just bull rushers, right? So I, I think that there's you go Olivia Vernon. Uh, Mutt Hero, again, 27K. But these guys are still manageable to a point to get to. Like, they're not 700,000 coins where right. you're never going to get them. That's very expensive in terms of coins. I like the Olivia Vernon uh, with 95 power move, the 85. I really like the Javion Clowney, 95 power move. Um, those two guys, those power moves are so good. In terms of pass rushers, they're going to be able to be on your roster to fulfill that role. Until when? Until you get a better option, yeah. February, no one else is like, going to have much more than 95. 95 yeah. power move is ridiculous. So those two guys are almost must-have. Again, I so, like that you're dropping down to the 80. Yeah. Like, the 80 version, the 80 overall versions are also very good. So those are your edge guys. And then as far as li- other linebackers go, I've got, do you want speed guys in the middle? Like Hassan Reddick for 13K with Great 85 dollar. speed middle linebacker. Shazier cores down to 30. Um, I want big, tall guys. Like, those are your two best speed guys. Big, tall guys are good. Do you want a guy like Nigel Bradham with high zone coverage um, for cheap? Because Lesney has a, a hero with 91 zone, I think he's got. A left outside linebacker. So do you want, like, Bradham, Puzlesny for zone coverage in your middle linebacker position? Or do you want speed guys? Or do you want, like, height guys? Like, how, like, I want, I want what are you height. trying to do? I want height. I, I find that height is very important at linebackers. So I say that with the guys like Willie McGinnis and Charles Haley. They're both very tall. This is uh, for your 3-3-5 Tampa 2 defense. But cheap budget. I know team. there's a couple of really good um, budget players like Dewey McDonald, like super budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super budget Dewey McDonald. Kruger Hill. Those are guys that you're going to be able to get away with, especially if you're – like if there's a spot to try and get away with, it's your linebacking core in the 3-3-5. So then I have just – these are all just dudes that have 84 hit power or higher – that you just want to stack your lineup with. Any place you don't know where to put a guy, you, hey, I don't, eh, I got Terrence Newman, and I got this other guy, now I don't know what to do with the rest of these spots, and I'm short on coins. Well, just get dudes with hip power. Eric Reed, 5,500. Like, go get a dude that can just pop, put him in the flat. You're protected in a lot of these positions. Um, Value-wise, you know, st- stack your backups with a bunch of dudes. All these dudes are pretty athletic. Hit Perry can never go wrong with a guy like that. Um, just need to fill out your roster, but these are the, some zone coverage guys in the middle. Oh, if you find that's what you want, and then you have speed linebackers here. There's one other guy I wanted to go a show. That I think there's great value is the core lead, JJ Wilcox. JJ Wilcox, and he's going to he's going to run you about 17k. Okay, um, six feet tall. He's really good across the board. 83 zone, 82 speed. He's got real no weak point. 81 tackle, 86 hit power. He's just a very solid player, and he's very—he's a guy that you go out, go out and get. So just put him on your radar too. I think those—I think the most important positions are your your guys you're putting in the flats and your and your free safety and strong safety. That's what you should build the whole defense around. Those are the most yeah. important players. All right, so those are some good budget options for your three three five Tampa two 